I wish I could do the series over again, but I know I won't. I hope if anyone tries this, they'll learn from my later examples. Uh, skipped over all that introductory stuff to start reading the book, which I kind of did on a whim. So I thought I'd go over. I got a really interesting volume here. This is 1966. I saw a second one at uh, Desiree. I might snap it up and paint it gold, too. Here's the map. And, uh, yeah, a quote from 2nd Nephi 29.7. And who gives a fuck? I'm not even going to read it. Uh, I just wanted to read some of this introductory stuff. I thought I'd do a little bit, and then maybe a little bit more. I just wanted to do a few, some quick videos that connect with this. Wherefore, it, oh wait, uh, the Book of Mormon, an account written by the hand of Mormon upon plates taken from the plates of Nephi, All right, so are they saying that the Mormon wrote the entire, entire Book of Mormon? That makes sense, because the whole book has this homogenous sound. <laughs> it sounds like one person. The same, everybody sounds the same, pretty much. It's really bad writing. You know, I guess they thought the Bible was that way, but I don't know. There's some parts of the Bible that are pretty uh, well well done. I mean, you can get a lot of character, like like the books of Samuel, <laughs> for instance. All right. Anyway. Uh, Wherefore, it is an abridgment of the records of the people of Nephi and also the Lamanites, written to the Lamanites, who were are a remnant of the house of Israel, and also to Jew and Gentile, written by way of of commandment and also by the spirit of prophecy and of, by end of revelation written and sealed up and hid up unto the Lord that they might not be destroyed to come forth by the gift and power of God unto the interpretation thereof sealed by the hand of Moroni and hid up unto the Lord to come forth in due time by way of the Gentiles the interpretation thereof by the gift of God. I, I love this. Ancient abridgments. I, you just don't hear people wasting uh, space telling you it's an abridgment. If it's an abridgment, they don't let you know. An abridgment taken from the book of Ether also. The book of Ether. Yeah, Jaredites. Which is a record of the people of Jared who were, were scattered at the time the Lord confounded the languages of the people when they were building a tower to get to heaven which is to show unto the remnant of the house of Israel that great things, what great things the Lord hath done for their fathers, and that they may know the covenants of the Lord, that they are not cast off forever, and also to the convincing of the Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ the eternal God manifesting himself unto all nations. And now, if there are faults, they, they are the mistakes of men. If there's any errors in the book, uh, it's a translator error. Wherefore, condemn not the things of God, because he can't defend himself, apparently. that ye may be found spotless at the judgment seat of Christ. Translated by Joseph Smith, Jr. Huh. 
J U N Jun Joseph Smith Jun. Really? Published by the Desiree Book Company, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA, 1966. All right, copyright 1957 by David McKay. Trustee and Trust for the Church of Christ, of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City, Utah, first edition published in 1830. First edition is divided into chapters and verses with, with references by Orson Pratt in 1879, first issued in double column pages with chapter headings, chronological data, revised footnote references, pronouncing vocabulary, and index in 1920. First issued in double column pages with chapter headings, chronological data, revised footnotes, references, pronunciation, vocabulary, and index in the enlarged format in 1950. And here's a picture of the hill of Camorra, where at least two catastrophic battles take place. It's sort of the Mormon Megiddo. <laughs> you know, where all the horrible shit happens. That crossroad where everything fucking falls apart. You can't see it, I guess, but they got it written in... Uh, they got it, like, carved in, like, a hedge, or they cut it into the grass like a Mr. T job. <laughs> it says, Kumora. All right, I'll read some more of this shit a little bit later. I want short videos. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you might be having. Bye.